Good morning. Uh, well, as Chris has said, I'm Leire and I am working with Chris in Goyener and also in the Y project. Um, and when today I will try to explain how energy cooperatives are supporting in uh, energy communities or how we are doing at Goyener. So next step slide. Um, just to note, Goyener is a non-profit citizen energy cooperative, which is located in the Basque country in the north of Spain. Currently, we are 16,000 members and 59 workers. Uh, we work uh, creating renewable energy projects and also we supply renewable energy to our partners. But in the last two years, we are working quite hard in energy communities. And today I will be... Um, uh, centered in this topic. So next slide, that's it. So as we have said uh, during the workshop, uh, an energy, well, according to the European directives, an energy con community is a legal entity in which people uh, and entities of the imme immediate environment, both public and private, are working together to collaborate in an activity related to the energy. They have uh, the aim of providing services to their members and to the local community, but also they have the aim of offering socioeconomic and environmental benefits. Next slide. Well, we believe that a renewable energy cooperative should be a tool to empower people in the topic of, topics of renewable energy transition and sovereignty. It should also respond to the local needs and should help to create a community which should be participant and democrat democratic. Next slide. So in order to help the municipalities to create their own renewable energy cooperative, we are trying to help or, or support them. First of all, creating a cooperative, also developing and searching new energy projects. And we also helping them to work with people to create the community, which from our experience and as Albert has said, is the most difficult part, but also maybe the most important one, because if we want to create a strong and long lasting cooperative, it is really important to have a strong base or a strong community done. Um, next slide. Thank you. That's it. Well, in this slide, you can see that the steps that uh, we follow in each town, or well, we are following them more or less uh, to create the local energy community, but but mainly centered in the participation and in building the, the strong community. You no, know? so first the first step is just to arouse interest and attract the pub public of the town or the city. So we just make some awareness campaigns on on the city or town. Then we start preparing the cooperative. So we give like some formations. We try to empower people about the renewable energy projects and also about the communities. And we search, we can, we search people that should, could be interested in the project. And once we have, uh, find the people, we, we go to the next step. So it's to create the renewable energy cooperative. And here, yeah, here we have the promoter group. We create this group and we empower the people from the promoter group. So these people um, are having like some formation in renewable energy cooperatives, but also in cooperatives on projects, uh, also in the different legal forms that can have a, a community. Uh, then once they are empowered, they create different working groups, so the community starts to work. And after the last step will be just to create the cooperative. Uh, it is presented in the in the town or in the city, and the incorporation of uh, new partners are incorporated to to the community. Uh, this is the these are the steps that we are helping the, to different municipalities or towns to. Once the the energy community is is um, done or is registered, then we just work like a kind of um, consultancy. So they are working on their own. When they have some uh, issues or some questions, they ask to us. We try to help them, but we are not. Um, then we are not 
um, helping that much or helping from that near, I could say. So next slide. Uh, we have also created a guide that is how to create a renewable energy community, but from the point of view of, of the participation. And a guide, well, mainly in the guide, the mainly explain the social organizational process um, because we think that it's the, as I have said, the most important part of the renewable energy cooperative. Next step. Well, regarding the opportunities that they have, uh, well, the main ones are that they gave they give access to local renewable energy resources. They can or should help also fighting the energy poverty. They are told to take control and responsibility of energy self-sufficiency by promoting energy democracy. They also generate income that persists in the local economy and they can help or should help increasing local cohesion. On the other hand, we have also the weaknesses. Uh, first of all, the main weakness that we are finding is to get the initial funding from nearby citizens. Also, the complexity of the use of democratic internal and governance is, is quite complicated. We are finding also barriers, uh, administrative barriers, mainly uh, to constitute the legal institution. And to finish, we also see we also seen the appropriation of the speech by by big companies. So these are the main weaknesses that we are finding. Uh, well, to finish, this was the the perspectives of the or the way that we are working in Goyener. But in the Y project, we are also working in renewable energy communities. So um, in the Y project, we are working in different five different use cases. One of them is the use case of the of the energy communities. Next slide, as you can see here. Next. And the objective of this use case is to develop a set of tools that should help to plan to set up a, a renewable energy community from the technical, economical, environmental and social perspective. So the tool should help to answer the questions that you can see here uh, when we are about to start the, to create in the community. These questions are prepared to find the most efficient or most convenient uh, community for, for each case. So these are the questions, well, these are some samples that we should try to answer when we are about to start to create the, the community. Next slide. So uh, in the Y project, we are working in two different scenarios. Uh, the first scenario is a municipality that has decided to, to constitute an energy community. Currently in this uh, town, the energy community is already constituted. They, have, they are working in two different energy projects and they are trying to, to get new partners. They are almost 90 partners nowadays. And uh, the other um, the other case is is a group of citizens of a neighborhood who wants to become also an energy community. So nowadays we are trying to help them uh, doing so. They are mainly working in energy projects. They they haven't they are not still an energy community, but they are working on it. So with the we are trying to get information about those two scenarios to 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 feed our our tool and that's all from my side if you have any questions i will be happy to answer <laughs>